Welcome to today's presentation focusing on Vector Builder's cutting edge capabilities in the realms of in vitro transcription and lipid nanoparticle manufacturing. My name is Brady Stripmatter, and I'm a scientific product manager here at Vector Builder. Throughout this presentation, I will delve into how Vector Builder can partner with you to enhance your next IVT mRNA therapeutic. Viral vectors, mRNA, and protein therapeutics represent distinct yet complementary approaches in the realm of advanced medical interventions. Viral vectors leverage the natural infective capacity of modified viruses to deliver therapeutic genes into cells, enabling long-term expression and correction of genetic disorders. On the other hand, mRNA therapeutics harness the cell's translational machinery to produce specific proteins, offering a versatile platform for rapid development and deployment of vaccines and therapies. Protein therapeutics, in contrast, involve direct administration of proteins or peptides to elicit a targeted physiological response, bypassing the complexities of gene expression. Each modality has its unique strengths and challenges. The structure of an mRNA molecule is a finely orchestrated arrangement of functional elements that collectively guide its stability and translation. At the five prime end of the mRNA, a protective cap structure is added, consisting of a modified guanosine nucleotide. The five prime and three prime untranslated regions of an mRNA molecule harbor regulatory sequences that can influence mRNA stability. At the three prime end is a, a polyadenine or poly-A tail. All of these functional elements must be carefully considered when developing an mRNA therapeutic as they influence the stability, translation, and immunogenicity of an mRNA molecule. The coding sequence can also have a large impact on translation efficiency. RNA therapeutics have revolutionized the field of medicine by offering a versatile platform for rapidly developing targeted therapies and vaccines. Among the pioneering examples, mRNA-1273 and BNT-162b2 stand out as groundbreaking COVID-19 vaccines developed by Moderna and Pfizer. These vaccines utilize modified mRNA molecules to encode the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, stimulating the immune system to generate a protective response without the use of live virus particles. mRNA therapeutics are also being investigated in clinical trials for the treatment of cancer and for protein replacement. Vector Builder offers end-to-end -end solutions for in vitro transcribed mRNA therapeutic development, empowering researchers and pharmaceutical companies to navigate the complex landscape of mRNA-based treatments with confidence and precision. To learn more about this, let's first focus on the design and cloning of IBT vectors. With a specific focus on robust and validated five prime and three prime UTRs, coding sequence optimization and validation, and our proprietary technology for stable cloning and transcription of long poly-8 tails. Vector Builder offers a variety of synthetic UTRs that have been validated in vitro and in vivo. As seen in figure one, the choice of UTR can have a drastic effect on mRNA translation and expression, with certain combinations resulting in a 300-fold increase in luciferase expression compared to others at 72 and 96 hours post-transfection. After optimization of UTRs, Vector Builder can employ our proprietary codon optimization technique to help optimize the coding sequence of your mRNA, considering preferred codon usage and secondary structure. As seen in figure two, this codon optimization technique developed our high express luciferase construct, which dramatically increases expression of luciferase in vitro and in vivo. The addition of poly A tails to IVT mRNA is achieved by cloning the poly A tail onto the vector sequence. Historically, synthesis, cloning, and validation of long stretches of poly A have been difficult to achieve. In addition, bacteria tend to recombine long stretches of nucleotides, leading to degradation of the vectors over time. Vector Builder's proprietary IVT mRNA backbone and cloning strategy have been optimized to stably maintain stretches of up to 150 adenines without degradation over time. Further, our IVT mRNA vectors allow for stable transcription of poly A tails. As shown in figure four, both 120 nucleotide and 150 nucleotide poly A tails 
can consistently be produced at Vector Builder. Looking at LCMS based analysis of mRNA with 120 nucleotide poly A tail, we can see that the transcripts produced by our vector all fall within the expected size range. Poly A tails are extremely important for regulating expression and stability of your mRNA transcript in vitro and in vivo. As seen in figure five, in a GFP reporter assay of mRNAs with the same cap structure and UTRs, but different length poly A tails, both the 45 and 80 nucleotide tails were not sufficient for maximal GFP expression compared to a 100 nucleotide tail. Although 120 and 150 nucleotide tails may confer enhanced expression to certain transcripts and in different applications, in this setting, the 100 nucleotide tail performed best. After cloning your custom vector, Vector Builder can take you on the next step in the IVT mRNA therapeutic pipeline, the production of LNP mRNA. In this section, we'll discuss the various options researchers have in customizing the production of their IVT mRNA therapeutic. The first thing we will discuss is the choice of mRNA capping method. Five prime caps are essential for proper mRNA function in eukaryotes. In vivo, the five prime cap is added in a series of enzymatic reactions co-transcriptionally. The cap structure consists of a methylated guanosine nucleotide attached to the transcript through a five prime to five prime phosphate linkage. Cap zero, which is not found in higher eukaryotic organisms, is the precursor to cap one, the structure found in eukaryotes. Cap one consists of the addition of a methyl group at the plus one position of the mRNA as seen highlighted by the green circle. The additional methyl group is extremely important in evading the cellular innate immune response to RNA. For IVT mRNA, capping can occur either enzymatically or co-transcriptionally. Enzymatic capping occurs through a series of enzymatic reactions using a viral capping enzyme, as well as an O-methyl transferase to produce a cap structure after the in vitro transcription has occurred. In contrast, co-transcriptional capping is performed with the addition of a trinucleotide analog that contains the cap structure acting as the initiator for transcription of the IVT mRNA. Both methods have their advantages and drawbacks. However, the most important factor is the capping efficiency of the chosen method. At Vector Builder, we can achieve highly efficient capping for both enzymatic and co-transcriptional systems. In addition, as different cap structures are developed, our team continues to optimize our production for various mRNA caps, allowing researchers to choose from a variety of options for their IBT mRNA therapeutic. Regardless of choice, high, fit, high capping efficiency can be achieved. In addition to our high capping efficiency, we can also achieve high yields of mRNA production in a variety of cap structures and have validated their function in vivo and in vitro. Another thing to take into consideration for your IVT reaction is whether modified nucleotides should be included. Two popular choices include 5-methylcytosine and N1-methylpseudouracil. These nucleotides maintain proper Watson-Crick base pairing during translation, but help evade immune detection of RNA by the innate immune system, resulting in enhanced expression of certain transcripts in vivo and a reduced nonspecific immune response. After conducting the IVT reaction, impurities such as residual DNA and protein are purified with oligo-DT chromatography. However, double-stranded RNA can remain after the first round of purification, which is problematic due to the large immune response it elicits. Vector Builder offers a variety of methods to remove the remaining contaminants, including hydrophobic interaction chromatography and ion pair reverse phase liquid chromatography. Diagrammed on this slide is the typical workflow for the purification of mRNA. However, these specifications can be customized to produce the best results for your project. Following purification, Vector Builder offers lipid nanoparticle encapsulation with standardized and custom LMP formulations. Lipid nanoparticles are essential for delivery of mRNA into the cytoplasm of cells, and their formulation and production drastically influences their ability to deliver mRNA. Figure 12 shows LMPs produced at Vector Builder profiled by dynamic light scattering. As seen here, 
The LMPs produced have high homogeneity around 100 nanometers diameter, which is essential for proper delivery of mRNA. After LNP mRNA production, Vector Builder offers a full suite of QC assays that can be customized depending on the end use of your product. In addition, we offer state-of-the-art quality control for lipid nanoparticles. Join me in part two of this seminar video where we'll dive into validation and specific case studies of IVT mRNA therapeutic development. Thank you for your attention and scan here or visit VectorBuilder.com to get started today.